success yung okay. meaning of success is yung kung ano yung impact, kung ano yung naiwanan mo, yung ginagawa mo na nakaka-impact sa ibang tao. Yes. Compared to yung sa success ng power, success of achievement, or success of well, position, wealth, na which will lead you to yearn for another stage. And uh, nagiging greedy oh, ka na. nagiging greedy ka or pagod Wala ka na kasi... Hi guys! And welcome back to our channel. My name is Janine. And I'll... For today's vlog, ay papanoorin natin ang naging uh, performance ng isis mga delegates for the upcoming Miss World Philippines 2024. Mm -hmm. It is going to be Miss Capitolio Pasig, that's Rihanna Pangindian, one of the uh, top eight finalists wow. for the Head to Head Challenge. Impressive. Or in ang category ay ang uh, naging uh, <laughs> criteria for a judge or not. 60% is a content and 40% sa delivery. Ayan, so isa din yung sa consistent uh, candidates for Miss World Philippines without any further ado. Without any further ado, let's watch this. As early as four years old, she knew what she wanted to be. One day, she just got up and posed, saying, Look at me! Wow! Ano na, alala ko yun ang bata ako. When you hear the word model, you think of glamour and confidence. Model. But is that all there is to it? Growing up in an all-girls school was pretty brutal. While my family tried hard to instill confidence in me, it was the things that I thought made me unique that became the same things I could do before. What sticks out most was when they gossip and exclude me just because of my skin. Because I was Morena. I became insecure, shy. I believed I was alone. But the light of truth cannot be ignored. We are more than the labels and limits people place in us. And if you look up, you'll find the ones <laughs> built <laughs> <up> <laughs> and Look up. And remind you that you are not alone. Because of those who helped me find my life, my dreams found a renewed purpose. Now, to model means to be a role model. Multiplying kindness and compassion through youth mentorship. I'm Rihanna Agad the Pangindian from Pasig City, kung saan umaagos ang mag-asa. On a lifelong mission to bring that hope into the world. Yes. Remember, you are not alone. You are That's not Rihanna alone. That's Rihanna Agatha. Ang pinaka dun sa akin, siguro tumatak habang pinapanood ko siya ulit is yung beauty standards ng mga Pinoy. Mm -hmm. Di ba napakataas ng beauty standards wherein ang hilig lang naman natin is kutsain yung iba pero hindi natin alam sa sarili na hindi tayo marunong manalamin. Mm -hmm. Na tayo rin mismo meron tayong kakulangan. Siguro yun lang yung kailangan nating stop or parang kahit bawas-bawasan kasi it affects the mental health of the other people other din people. naman, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Yung nga kasi it's very westernized yung uh, ideals kasi na kaya oh, puti, matangos, ganyan, mm -hmm. matangkad, ganyan. Pag haarap ka sa simbahan, ang sasabihin mo, we are all equal in the eyes of the Lord. Eh? Pero yun pala, <laughs> mga oh, grabe God. makapang bully yung ganun. So, stop. <laughs> From Capitolio, Pasig City. Hi, Riri. Hi, Doc. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hashtag not alone. That is your battle cry and yet another shot for a crown in Miss World Philippines. How do you translate this hashtag in the context of our present social political struggles as a nation? I believe uh, the movement that I'm currently a part of called Hashtag Not Alone, our main mission is to shape lives, empower students, equip teachers, and reach families to see millions of students live a life full of meaning and purpose. As someone who gone through bullying and several setbacks in the past, I believe that through mentorship, through being there for our youth, giving them a safe space to air out their concerns, their problems, and to really make them feel that they are not alone will really help us shape our country into a better society. Because our students or our youth is really the future of the Philippines. And, and so if we don't give them the proper guidance today, then who will? Who will guide them in the future? So I think it's really um, important for us to even take the simple steps to just listen. You know, as, as simple as listening to their problems and show genuine care and concern, that would really make a ripple effect that we might not see now, but I'm sure in the future it will happen. Thank you. 
Are you? Yeah, that's true. Diba? Parang kapag ka pinakinggan mo siya or kapag ka... Diba? Parang wala lang. Ano lang yung maliit na bagay yung gano'n. Diba? Pero kasi yun yung magmumold sa isang tao. Lalo na kapag ka hindi maayos or hindi nagabayan ng maayos. Like, doon kasi yung pag lumaki parang hmm. like, napabayaan, gano'n, oh. or hindi niya alam kung ano yung tatahakin niya, or kung ano yung mga gusto niyang mangyari sa buhay niya. So, it's very important mm-hmm. para sa mga teenager to have well, uh, that kind of support. Siguro, ano, uh, I think medyo missed, siguro, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, kasi sociopolitical yung parang mm-hmm. tinatanong sa question, pero, no yung masyadong meaty and well-expounded yung sinagot niya, kung saan niya ibinaling yung sagot niya. So, Pero it's ano ah, it's, it's social, sociopolitical. It's mm-hmm. something na very relevant to the question din naman kung siguro, para sa akin, uh-huh. siya mag-away tayo dito. <laughs> <laughs> Always passionate about social causes. Oh yes, definitely. I feel like as a young girl in Even up till now, I'm someone who's very passionate. Um, I do everything with love, with compassion, with empathy. I feel like even in my day-to-day encounter, even with my co-candidates, I like to extend that compassion, that kindness, that love. Because for me, true measure of success is to really how much lives you have impacted. Mm -hmm. More than anything in this world, I feel like the relationships that we build with one another and the love and the kindness that we give even to strangers will really make a huge impact in the future. So living a life with meaning, with purpose, and with intentionality will really help me or guide me in this world. That's very powerful. Like, you know, the true meaning of success is yung how how many people naka impact ayusin mo yan ayusin mo yan the true <laughs> meaning of success is yung kung ano yung impact kung ano yung naiwanan mo ah. yung na influence mo yung kindness na naibigay mo na i-share mo yung goodness ah. lang lang I, I think that's the ano the basic feeling like oh yeah. yun nga yung gusto kong sabihin eh sinabi mo <laughs> Hindi, ang gusto ko sabihin eh, that's the main source of a genuine happiness. Yung something that ginagawa mo na nakaka-impact sa ibang tao. Yes. Compared to yung sa success ng power, success of achievement, or success of well, position, wealth, na which will lead you to yearn for another stage. And uh, nagiging greedy Oo, ka na. nagiging greedy ka or pagod ka na kasi gusto mo, ah, na-achieve mo na to, gusto mo mas malaki or mas mga mm-hmm. mga so. So at the end of the day, let's go back to the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Ah. Ano 'yon? Meron tayong tinatawag na basic needs. Aha. Uh-huh. Yan na yung uh, papasok yung water, uh-huh. air, ganyan. Uh-huh. So ang Mr. pinakamataas na ano is um uh, yung fulfillment, uh-huh. sense of fulfillment na tinatawag ganyan. Love is also um, part of the, the uh, hierarchy uh-huh. of needs. So kailangan nating balikan yun. Let's go back to the basic and let's go back kung bakit tayo nandito dapat magkaroon ng essence ang ating buhay. Huh? Wow! Thank you so much! At sinamahin naman kami sa nagdaan ng reaction video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If bago kayo sa ating channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell para updated kayo sa ating mga next uploads. Ayan guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We have a lot of videos done and we have a lot of videos coming. So keep watching us. See you in the next video. Bye!